Hello, what's going on guys? How's everybody doing today? I'm doing well, thank you for asking. Welcome to a quick little episode of The Body Beatdown. I'm Michael, your incredible host. Well, I wanted to touch base with a guy that left a comment on one of my videos. Uh, he commented on my Mikey Sin TV channel. Uh, that's where I dump on my Body Beatdown videos just to keep my old channel going uh, so YouTube don't just shut it down. Um, Mikey Sun TV, M I K I E S O N TV. Please don't go there and subscribe. You can go there and check the playlist. I have all kind of cool videos, but you don't have to subscribe. Anyway, this guy left a comment. Max Models, M A X X X Models, M O D E L Z is what it looks like to me. And we're going to kind of take this uh, one little step at a time. I'll read it out, but we'll take it one part at a time. He says, is this an all-time PR? How old are you and how much lifting experience do you have? I'm only asking because you're much stronger than you appear and I'm wondering if you've already been a power lifter or something in your younger years or if this PR is entirely brand new, very strong. Well, I appreciate that and uh, also I thanked him for the comment and all that. and. Uh, I asked him if he'd please go take part in the Body Beatdown channel. I hope he does. I don't know if he did or not. But uh, let's kind of take it a little piece at a time here, guys. Is this an all-time PR? Well, short answer, no. And we'll get to the rest of that in just a moment. How old are you? I am going to be 51 in November 30th of this year. How much, of, how much lifting experience do you have? Uh, I started working out about the mid 90s, mid to later 90s. Uh, kind of got more serious in the late 90s, and uh, I pretty much stopped working out in 2010. You could say probably maybe early 2011, but really taking it hard and serious in 2010. Uh, just kind of life came up and some things were happening. Kind of things happen and. Uh, so from mid to late 90s until 2010, I was really off and on with my working out. I never had anything actually set in stone as, and as dedicated and uh, consistent and persistent as I've been over the last year and a half. Not by a long shot. Um, I might work out a week. I might miss a month. I might work out a year. I might miss a couple of years. I might work out a couple of days and miss a week. And, that's just how it was. Uh, I wanted to be more consistent and persistent and uh, on a schedule. But you know how it is when you're doing stuff like this. You're gung-ho one minute and the next minute you're, well, I'll miss. Well, I'll take this day off. Well, I'll do this. Well, And that's why you don't see me miss at all over the last year and a half since starting back. Uh, is because that when you give yourself that little bit of free day, it, it, it ends up being a free week, a free month, and five years later. So that's my lifting experience. I'm only asking because you look much stronger than you appear. Uh, I'm only asking because you're much stronger than you appear. And I'm wondering if you've already... Uh, so one reason that I might not look all that big and strong is the camera. Camera views, the lenses... And, uh, you know, distortion and all that kind of throws things off. And I'm not saying I'm some big monster guy. I'm not. But I've always been well over 200 pounds. Right now I'm easily 235. And uh, I would say uh, I dropped weight. I got down to about 218, 220, we'll say. And I don't think I've put on any more fat with that good 15 pound uh, increase. I've put on a lot of muscle for sure. And uh, my biggest that I've been was probably 280. And that was while I wasn't working out and I was fatter. Of course, I hold I hold weight well and people never expected me to weigh that much. When I tell them, they're like, good Lord, you don't look like you'd weigh that much. So, uh, and a lot of my time, a lot of my adult life uh, in the 2000s, I was around 250, 255. And uh, so, I'm not really a small guy, but I'm also not some gigantic you know, person. Uh, something you got to realize is a lot of us guys out here that are natural, 100% natural, uh, we're, you know, you don't really build up a lot of times those bubbly round muscles 
and uh, so you don't look necessarily the part you know you can kind of tell uh, we'll say either really extremely good genetics which are about one in a million and uh, uh, enhanced physiques with you know who might be using some gear a little HGH and testosterone maybe some steroidal type things uh, you can tell those people from extremely natural people and some people just don't have the great uh, DNA uh, that some people have you know I'm never going to have the big bubbly arms even if I had great you know better genetics you know I just I don't have those, ge those genetics to have the big bubbly round muscles so uh, but if you see me standing next to an average everyday person everybody's like good lord you're big you know I've been accused of being on steroids at, at times so uh, I'm I'm subscribed to a guy on my on uh, YouTube uh, McBean Scottish Fitness and I remember commenting one time to him whenever I was pretty new to his channel you know wow man you're lifting these insane weights good job I mean guy you don't look like you could lift you know 200 pounds much less almost 500 and you know I'd probably dwarf you but in reality he's much larger than me he's stronger than me and so uh, it's kind of hard to judge people sometimes on these cameras and stuff so you know you never know um, somebody could be a giant and you wouldn't even know it uh, I am six foot one and a half inches I did used to be more like six two but I guess with my back and all that things you know you kind of shrink down a smidgen and uh, uh, with shoes on I'm six two but barefoot I'm six foot one and a half and uh, anyway uh, you're stronger than you appear like I said so you know it's hard to, to judge that because uh, I can watch videos of 15 year old boys that look about 120 pounds and they're deadlifting you know 400 pounds or bench pressing 300 pounds or I've seen young girls doing that I've seen old ladies doing that I've seen older men doing that you know so it's it's kinda hard to judge that kinda stuff just by looking at people you just never know man so uh, and then he goes on to say I'm wondering if you've already been a power lifter or something in your younger years uh, no I've never been a power lifter strong man Olympic lifter uh, none of that kind of stuff I've always followed more of the bodybuilder style of training uh, because that's the physiques that I like not that I'm ever going to have that physique but that's the style of training that I do uh, could I have benefited from different types of training from my body style maybe I don't know uh, and it's too late for me to really care <laughs> so uh, yeah I've always followed more of the bodybuilders typical style of training um, is this a new P is this uh, PR uh, brand new uh, no this isn't the brand new PR in my lifetime my lifetime my flat bench PR uh, is 375 and I have a video on here somewhere on Mikey Sun TV and on the body beat down somewhere showing that old video so uh, 375 is my all-time PR this is my new PR just since starting back over the past year and a half and uh, building myself back up uh, really the only thing that I've got a real PR in if you want to look at main lifts uh, would be my deadlifts and I'm up at 435 pounds for one rep and that's a that's a PR I'm pretty sure I never reached that in my younger lifting days uh, because I never was good at deadlifts so uh, anyway I just kind of wanted to touch base on this uh, question that I was that I was asked by this guy Max Models um, I appreciate the comment I do hope that if you see this that you've liked share subscribe commented all that good stuff to uh, the body beatdown again I don't really support Mikey Sin TV I just dump uh, my videos over there in hopes to keep that channel going so it don't just like die out um, but anyway guys I just wanted to touch base on that and I appreciate any and everyone that leaves comments and stuff like that I really do appreciate it and that's what keeps the community going 
Please like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff to The Body Beatdown. That's me, Michael, your insane host. And guess what? I'm actually taking, taking a whole day off today. I'm not walking, I'm not spinning, and of course I don't work out. I give myself one day to where I don't work out, and uh, that's typically on Sunday. That's not a religious thing, I'm not religious, but figure Sunday, I'm done. Uh, I've worked out six days, and then I'm done. I'd, I like to have one day off, but I always do cardio seven days a week, but I told myself I am giving myself a break. So, no cardio today. I'm just chilling, relaxing, maxing, shooting a little b-ball outside of school with a couple of guys who up in real good, started making trouble in my neighborhood. You know how it goes. Anyway, guys, get up, get out, get red, do it to it. We'll see you next time on the Body Beatdown. I'm Michael, and I'm out of here, and I'm going to try to do something kind of cool. Get ready. Here we go. Ready? No? Dang it. Let me do this right here. Get up, get out, get around, and